I'm doing this for those that are watching us on TV, not for the ones that have been in these circles for years and years and years and years. I'm here to tell those that are watching, you can make a difference by participating in the process. OHA holds some of the documents that we had for the coalition. In fact, they should have them all. We submitted enough to them where they should have a whole room full of stuff that we've done in all them years. All I'm saying is those things should be brought to the table because they were following the queen's wishes to continue what she put aside for us to do. How dare us or anybody else try to change what she left us? My mind not always simple. Continue to educate in the process. The queen has left us a way out. I believe in the process, or I wouldn't be here today, to stand in front of you and say, we can still do this, but it must be transparent, and it must be free-floating. We cannot be attached to the state of Hawaii. We cannot be attached to the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. We cannot be attached to anything except each other. That's what separates us from them. Will it work? I pray it does. I hope it does. I encourage us to continue to work towards that. Go back and look. Bring those, bring those documents up. Find out what happened. The aha. We still find people walking and saying, you know, they're still the representatives. I don't disagree. But it's been inactive forever. Coalition, same thing. We were right there, ready to vote on our representatives. And now we have just names and numbers. And I want to say God bless to Sharon, too. We miss her in Kauai. She was one of the advocates that helped us many, many years for to help Kauai to come into this circle. So my manao to us, if we're going to do this again, please make sure the funding does not cease to exist for us. Office of Wayne Affairs, you must finish what you started. My mother was there in the beginning also, Auntie Frenchy de Soto, all of those circles that you all went to, all of us know what the answer is. But the, our monies that we need to do this process is being held up. It cannot be a 5013C that works this. It has to be the monies that are going out the door. And how, we, perfect example, you talked about the Akaka bill, $4 million went out for the Akaka bill and it failed. During that same time, I asked for the same amount of monies for us to have the coalition, <laughs> we'd already be. We'd already be. But because they would not allow us to have that same money that they lobbied and lobbied and threw away and threw away and never brought it back up, I instigated the Sunshine Law. They wanted to charge me $11,000 for the printing of all the paperwork. Isn't that, and I'm, and I'm, a, I'm supposed to be a beneficiary. <laughs> and I'm asking for something that should be open to all, not just me. Well, it didn't happen. I never got it. To this day, I still have not received anything from them. But I'm saying to you, we cannot stop trying to make this work. But we need the funding, which is our own money. Office of Wayne Affairs has our money. It's not their money. It's your money, our money, to do this process. Millions and millions of dollars it might take. So what? It's taken us hundreds of thousands of Hawaiians to die before we got here, including my mother and my aunties and my kupuna. The rail, perfect example, the Ivi kupuna, we're still fighting to protect them. We cannot stop the rail, we cannot stop the bulldozers, we cannot stop these things, but we can take responsibility. Our kuleana is to make sure the Ivi kupuna and the kikiokaina are protected. You wanna protect your children? Get the process, open it back up, Let's go to every island, educate everybody again, again, again. Give them the opportunity because all the old players are out and there's new players in. The younger generations are, are now smart because they've learned to educate themselves in the process. Mahalo.